What is up, YouTube world? I'm Ashley D. Before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And also, feel free to share it. Today, I'm going to start off with thanking each and every one of you for genuinely, co-heartedly taking your time out of your day to give your condolences as well as leave your own story down. I know it takes a lot. It takes a lot out of all of us daily to get up and continue to fight through grief, through pain, through heartache. But we do it and we're here. And each and every one of you, I want to let you know, are strong, brave people. And I admire that about you. You encourage me to continue to, to fight, continue to do great things and make a difference. All of you have shared very, very heartfelt stories with me. And I want to tell each and every one of you out there, it may be hard. A lot of you may be taking on the responsibility of a deceased loved one child. You may be taking on the responsibility of someone that cannot function on their own and you're a caretaker. And it gets hard at times. Just know that you are in my prayers and continue to fight and God will never put more on us than we can handle. Continue to be encouraged, getting your word and just know that at the end of the tunnel, there is a light. Maybe you was meant to be on my channel and leave your story and your testimony to help someone else. You never know. We were brought to one another for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Whether it was spreading awareness to what's going on with Miss Lyona. You are here in this moment in time with me. And we will get through this together. And we will continue to courage and support one another. And I will get to each and every one of you. Comments you have left down below. And your condolences and everything you wrote. I will get to that. And I will make sure I respond. I just want to once again thank you for all the love, concern, and care you've shown. I appreciate it. And now I'm going to give my commentary on Miss Lyona. I want to let you all know very briefly that when I stated yesterday that I was going to address and address it one time only, that wasn't me saying that I wasn't going to speak on Miss Lyona or Mr. Ed anymore. That's not the situation. I was trying to state that I will no longer further entertain her prehives. I will no longer entertain her flunkies, her followers, her people she's mentoring into hell while they watch and root her on to commit adultery. I will no longer entertain those people. They are beneath me and you as well. We don't have anything to say to them. We're going to continue to spread the word, speak the truth, and state the facts. As long as she continue to put content out there and give us something to state, we're going to speak on it. If she has a problem, then maybe she needs to straighten up her act or do something else. Other than that, I'm going to keep it coming. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we watched her receive her Mother's Day gifts. Like always, Miss Lyona going overboard, spraying perfume, coughing, not very impressed by her kids, push her oldest children off to give praise to the young one, just like we expected. Okay, we spoke on that. Moving along to them out to dinner, her and Mr. Janell, who not one time acknowledged her on Mother's Day. But everybody wants to go on the Miss LaTruth page and say he's wrong. He's trying to piss Lyona off for wishing the person that he does skits with a happy Mother's Day. Ask yourself this question. Why would he miss, wish Miss Lyona anything when they're beefing? What type of mother is she constantly putting his child on camera with another man holding him above the shoulders? Or better yet, what kind of mother is she using a child as a weapon, claiming he needs to come see the child, but yet she can't be trusted? Or better yet, Allowing a stranger into their home, or better yet, her home now, with the kids that he's taken care of. He's fathered. He may not biologically father them, but he fathered them for six years. 
and his daughter go across the screen on a video with no shirt on and a pamper in the middle of this stranger in her house recording. Why should he wish her a happy Mother's Day? What type of mother does those things? In the midst of them having a divorce publicly, her publicly humiliating him, everything he does be and scrutinize. He's been antagonized constantly. Anything he does is to get under Brie. It's bad, it's sad, and sometimes I wish he turns off his comments, but he's a warrior of God. He can take it. He has tough skin. A lot of people would have cracked under the pressure that this man is going through. But for some reason, it gives him superpower. It encourages and motivates him to continue on. And I must say, that's bravery. Not to mention, they're out to eat, dinner setting, Miss Lyona allegedly probably paid for her. Shout out to Harmony Speaks. She pointed something out that was very funny. He's out to eat, looking stoned out of his mind. He never has anything to say, like always, unless he's in his acting role. That's the only thing he's good at. He looked like he probably got stoned to be able to interact with Miss Lyona a little better because their chemistry is off. But everyone says the second they turn on that camera and he's doing acting, just like the classes he's taking, that they have great chemistry. Please, are you serious? Are we all looking through the same lens? Anyhow, they're sitting at the table and he immediately laughs about her possibly being pregnant. This woman should have been on birth control. This woman does not need to birth any more children. Because the ones that she has, they're continuously being left behind to fend for themselves, allegedly. Not to mention, the boys that she has. I'm sure a lot of you out there raise decent young boys to be decent, productive men in society. But yet, she says, I can't teach you how to be a man. No, we're females. We can never teach them how to be a man or even show them their manhood. That's what they do sports for. They have high testosterone, not to mention, you can show them love, affection, appreciation, how to treat a woman, what unconditional love is, and they will find their way into young manhood. So you not being able to teach them how to be a man is a bullcrap excuse. I don't respect that. You just decided that at what? After the fourth child? The first little, the first son you had, the old, your oldest son, you couldn't teach him how to be a man. You claim it was issues from day one with their first child father. You knew you could not teach that first one how to be a man. But what did you say? Whoops, I'm going to try it again. Then you had another one. You couldn't teach that one how to be a man. But your light bulb still didn't go off. You still didn't go on, get on birth control. With the possibility, knowing in the back of your mind, let you tell it, Lyona, allegedly he was abusive and things wasn't working out and he lied to you throughout this whole relationship. So what mother, woman that puts her kids first over their own selfish needs, would continue to fool around with this person and bring life into the world by them for a third time? Make it make sense. Come on. But I'm the bad person that's online that everyone feel is badgering her. No, it's about the kids. That's what it's about. It's about the truth and the reality of the matter. It's not about me being a woman hater, bashing another black woman. What happened to Mr. LaTruth Wright? What make his feelings any less because he's a man? He has it harder being a black man as it is. This woman has tried to take his dignity, integrity, his platform, everything from him on top of lying on video that we all seen with our very own eyes. She says he has a gun. She had a, she said he had a gun. That man could have been shot immediately as the police entered through the home trying to protect her because she's crying once again, allegedly. Stating false accusations when we're watching him record. He finally gets it. 
he finally wakes up and realizes that his wife is trying to win the Oscar role of best actress. This isn't going anywhere. I might as well start recording to protect myself. That man could have been unalive because of that. But you guys are upset with me because I'm speaking on another black woman. Well, guess what? I'm another black woman as well. And I'm not going to turn my blind eye for anything. I don't care what race, what gender you are. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Anyhow, they're at the table setting. And he's so amazed and fascinated. They act like two 16-year-olds in love, dating, courting for the first time. Not even in love. Dating, courting for the first time. What do you like? I like basketball. What do you like? I'm into football. You know, he's so amazed by the food. Like, we never been to Olive Garden or a nice fancy restaurant, allegedly. That's what he's looking at. He's amazed and she's blowing his mind, not by who she is, not by the person nurturing side of her, not by the love and tenderness she show her kids that pour out to everyone around her. It's from her gift giving. It's from what she can give to this man in this relationship. Because we all know Mr. Wu-Tang has not been getting any acting gigs. Let's be real. The only acting gig he recently got and he messed up was him on the runway. And that's the runway she paid for. It wasn't no red carpet event. It wasn't anything extravagant, allegedly, that she claimed she was going to be in coming up and she stopped speaking on. It was something she paid for like always. This man walked on this event. And I'm going to say right now, I'm not bashing anybody for your size, anything going on with you. It is what it is. But when I speak on these two, it's because they're so arrogant and inconsiderate of other people. It has to be said, they put themselves out there like that. So when they do that, we're going to have an opinion. It is what it is. So we have Mr. Wu-Tang, who's young, who should be active who's an actor, who wants to star in certain roles, who will constantly, allegedly, tagging Mr. 50 Cent. This man took his shirt off, not one, not two, three times walking that runway, looking like somebody drunk uncle at a barbecue, constantly tasting the meat with their hands, taking their shirt off because the alcohol kicking in and they hot. That's what he looked like. And he's supposed to be young and fit. Because he's an actor. So I expect more from him. Who's going to hire you in certain scenes? We saw you go to the gym one time. You sitting around Miss Liona eating every day. She don't care if you don't work out. She just wants you there. She need a man toy. She really don't care about your dreams or support to support that. Let her state it. Allegedly, she told Mr. LaTrue, don't do none of that. I don't care. I'll take care of you. She said that proudly. Who would encourage their spouse not to support their dream because they that jealous, manipulative? I don't want to see you with anybody else. Let me just take care of you. When all along, this man had a dream. This man did everything to lead up to the point where he was before she allegedly made his page go away. Everyone in a relationship has to support one another. You have to be equally yoked. If your partner is not pouring into your cup, like I stated, filling it up, and you guys balancing each other out and supporting one another's dreams, then maybe you need to take a second look at that relationship. Moving along. So he's praying online, blessing the food supposed to be, and then he sticks his tongue out in the middle of blessing the food. You don't have a serious bone in your body, but yet you look at this man as possibly stepdaddy potential. When is he ever serious? When? You guys sit up there and pray. He's laughing. And then we have all your brief flunkies that are now following him. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Where are the kids? And these are the people that pay to see you guys, subscribe to you guys, buy his bootleg merch. Supported you, bought your bootleg merch, Miss Liona. Continue to follow you. Give you likes so you can bring income in to support Mr. Ed. He tells them when they ask, where are the kids? And they were not trying to be funny. They were just wanting to know where the kids at because they saw the kids earlier. 
He said, in their skin. That goes to show you how they feel and how they respect you. And you guys continuously, time and time again, just laugh it off, support them. Not a big deal. And these are the people that you guys follow, look up to, and you have so much high expectation towards. You guys overlook every conduct this lady does. When she blatantly put it in her face, she don't care what you think. She don't even care if you follow her. What she cares about is that money to take care of her man child. That's it. And then fast forward, I'm going to say allegedly because I never spoke on this. Or if I did, I didn't stress it enough. We saw something saying Mr. Young on her arm allegedly or her hand. That goes to show you no matter what, this lady will always put herself first in her own selfish needs. Mr. Young, that's his last name, right? Allegedly. You can go put a guy name on you just like you supposedly did Mr. LaTruth when you first met him to show him you're loyal and you're down for him. But we have not seen any tattoos of your kid's name on you before you go out and put a total stranger name on you to prove your loyalty to them. Why don't you prove your loyalty to your kids? Period. Anyhow, then he has a ring on the finger that a man puts on when they're married. Not stating that it's an engagement ring because it doesn't look like one. But it's on that finger. They always subliminally do certain things. And I kind of am the person that catches on to those little things. So why does he have out of all the fingers the ring on that one? The hand, the finger that you get married when you place the ring on that one. Okay. Then he jokingly, and she is married, committing adultery boldly on camera, out having a nice romantic fancy dinner on Mother's Day. But you guys are worried about Mr. LaTrue sending her out a happy Mother's Day. But that's still his wife on camera eating dinner with a guy, joking about her being pregnant. Make it make sense. And then they claim to go on, getting ready to go on a vacation being booked and busy. Let's think about what this vacation booked and busy is going to look like for you guys. You setting up a fake photo shoot or you putting on a couple of bikinis, posing, and everybody liking that and not paying attention to what your booked and busy is. Your booked and busy is not enough common sense to think about your kids has four more weeks and they'll be out of school. You couldn't wait for that. You have four kids and a young one, a young one. When I went on vacation, when my son was young, it drove me crazy. Even though I knew he was in the best care with my mother and my sister, I was his mother. So I still wondered, was he eating on time? Was his diaper getting changed? I knew they were doing that, but still my mother intuition kicked in and yours, you don't care. You probably allegedly left your kids with your allegedly father that already have accusations against him being a pedophilia. And I'm going to say it that way. How can you leave your kids that only have a few weeks left of school at home and go on a vacation? And I'm going to say allegedly a bay vacation. You couldn't wait a few more weeks for these kids. These kids suffer enough in silence and probably parent they own self. Because you don't have a motherly bone in them to even know how to hold them tight, to talk to them. You talk to them as though they're your homegirl or your homeboy. Who does that with young kids? What type of example has this lady set for her children and her daughters about what a marriage is? What has she done for me to stop talking on her and making content that she continues to put out when this lady is married and she has daughters? That she wanted. She wanted to have a baby again. But now she's on a vacation. And her other daughter is taking care of her toddler that she did not ask for. I guarantee you. She's going to make sure Wooski eat. Don't worry. She got it under control. So think about when she want to go outside with one of her little friends knock on the door. She has to slow down running 
to make sure her toddler little sister catches up or she doesn't believe her or hold her hand the whole way. What kind of life is that for a child? While their mom allegedly claims to be booked and busy, but all you see is her living her best life without her four children. When are we going to see these kids fully reaping the benefits of their mother's hard-earned labor off of Mr. LaTruth's back and his career that she destroyed, allegedly? When are we going to see that? When are we going to see genuine happiness in these kids' faces when we look at them besides something rehearsed and a half smile? When? She's on vacation, and once again, her free hives are cheering her on. Oh, I wish a man would play in my hair. Of course he's going to play in her hair, baby. And then she calls him bae. And then people are getting into it with other people because they're calling her out on it. No, best friend. You're bae. But in my eyes, I'm like, this girl that kissed this man on camera, we don't even have to, at this point, say what they are. We've been knew what they were. She's been let us know what time it is. Come on, people. Why at this point, it's not even worth commenting or addressing her. She's going to deny it. She's a compulsive liar. That's why it's pointless of addressing her face on since people want to say you have so many different things to say. She has so many different things she does. This woman called him bae. And as he's playing in her hair because he's her man child, he's on another free vacation He's going to have fun in the sun because guess what? Neither one of them are booked and busy. Whoever their manager is needs to be fired at this point in time because they have done nothing. We have saw nothing that was worthy of being booked and busy or hiring a manager or leaving your kids behind. You are on a vacation because Mr. LaTruth went on his vacation. And now you bring your man child along and he's playing in your hair and all your people are saying that's true love and you're still denying it. No, that's just my best friend. We're taking our time to see how stuff goes. So you kiss your best friend on camera. That's called taking your time to see how it goes. Okay. All right. Getting a allegedly tattoo with the last name. That's taking your time too to see how that goes. Okay. Going out to dinner with your best friend on Mother's Day and them joking publicly about you being pregnant by them. You icing them out with jewelry, billboards, lavish gifts, premiere parties flying their friend out, jumping into their lap and then gripping your butt cheeks tight with both hands, doing a skit with them while he's butt naked in the shower, doing a love and hip hop scene where you take your shirt off even though you let the world see it because you don't mind getting naked. That's just who you are. You're a Jezebel. You have that spirit in you. So that was nothing to you. That was just another skit to you. But to us, it was another woman that shows her body and tries to use lust to sell and against other men who are naive. Anyhow, they say you guys are friends and you deny it. And then here comes your Brie Hive. So what? Let her live her best life. She can live her best life. That's fine. But while she's living her best life, what type of life are her children living? Their stepdad is no longer there. Their real dad is not even in a picture like that. And their mother is always gone. Or when she's home, she's online or allegedly around this man. What is going on here? And everyone is cheering her on. This lady needs to be divorced. And she needed time for herself. If she was a DV victim, allegedly, and she needed therapy. No way, nobody in their right mind still to this day would be supporting this young lady. And I'm going to call her young lady because that's how she wants to be addressed. Even though I feel like once you push a child out, that young lady goes out the window. You are a mother. Age is nothing but a number. He speaks on his Peter in a joking way with his best friend as she starts laughing. Babe, what you got to say to them? 
and everybody find that so hilarious. Oh, that's true love. I love it. I wish I found somebody like that. Guess what? Anybody could find a man child. You can go to the corner and find a man child. You could go to the mall and find a man child. All you have to do is look for someone unemployed with no ambition, no drive, no motivation. You feel like taking care of a guy? Go look online. Maybe go on a dating site or something if that's what you want. If those are the expectations you expect being a mother out of a guy, then I feel sorry for your kids. And I feel sorry for you. Because those expectations are at the lowest of the low. Someone playing in your hair and you willing to just sacrifice it all just for that. Go tell any man outside on the corner that you'll take care of them. And all they have to do is live there rent free. You'll provide their clothes. You'll provide shelter. You'll provide food. You'll provide anything at their every beck and call. And I guarantee you, you can have a man child too. Just that easy. Versus a real man. This man is not fit. He doesn't have the brain cells, the ability to think. He does not have one kid, let alone be able to play the role, the leading role that a man's supposed to in a household. He's the leader of four children that aren't his and a woman, a family that was already made. But you don't care about that because you're thinking about yourself. Who would pick a man that doesn't have any kids that is so immature as this man to be in a relationship allegedly with or have him around your kids? This is the craziest thing I've ever witnessed unfold daily. And we all sit back and we watch it with the same people that are cheering her on. She deserves to be happy. She been hurt all this time. She deserves to pick up an ink pen and sign those divorce papers. And she deserves to be a parent to her kids first. That's where your happiness comes from. When you're teaching your kids something new, when you're taking them shopping, and you finally can afford to let them go in the store, go crazy, buy whatever they want, keep their hair cut, buy them little things that little boy like. They're on shoes. Kids are, little boys love certain shoes. How can you be on camera flushed and fly, let alone with your man child, with those red and white shoes that he wore with everything that didn't go, but they were expensive shoes. And your kids just be regular, plain Jane. And they some beautiful individuals. And they are part of you that you carried in birth for nine months. How can that be? And then you want to turn around to deflect away from you and your man child on vacation, allegedly. You want to send out a little message, like I stated, in your bikini or your bathing suit, whatever it is. Today, focus on you. Don't worry about anything else but yourself. And your friend, your fans are going to be under that. Woo, girl, yes, yes. No, baby. That's been your whole goal from day one since it's been lights, camera, action with you. You manipulated the whole scene. You gave Mr. LaTroop allegedly what he needed and wanted in that moment. Until you got that spotlight. Until you allegedly got those surgeries. Until you started feeling yourself. Your past was no need. It served you no purpose any longer. Including the seeds that you nurtured. Everything that you brought into this world. And understand this. Every child needs a mother. But every mother does not need a child. And you, ma'am, you are one of those. Your message for today was don't focus on anybody else but yourself. Focus on you. You deserve happiness. Something like that. No, ma'am. We focus on our children first. Our foundation. Our children are the future. 
our happiness comes next. Our happiness comes within fulfilling their needs, their wants, and helping them prepare for their future. That's where our happiness lies. Not in a man. Not in any man. Not spoiling a man. Not going on vacation with a man. That's not happiness to us. That's the last thing. If it's a husband, it's a household, it's a union, that's a different story. But when you're going through something just like you are and you have followers and you're leading these people into the wrong direction, you're telling them focus on their self and you're not saying it in a way that don't let anything discourage you, focus on your family, focus on healing. You didn't say those things. You said it selfishly, like always focus on yourself. What kind of message is that? being a leading woman, being in a position to help others. That was a selfish message, Lyona, just like always coming from you. I am Ashley D. I hope you all enjoyed this message. I hope it resonates with a lot of you out there. I am passionate when it comes to the kids and I want to once again thank each and every one of you out here for daily coming to me, giving your input, reaching out. It means a lot to me and I will continue to do what I'm doing. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye for now.